Hello and welcome back to a brand new video series that I am doing for the launch of official hardcore servers. In this video series, I will cover gold making in certain level brackets every single day, starting with level 1 to level 10 for this video, and 10 to 20 in tomorrow's video, and continuing that format until we get to max level. The purpose of this video series is to give you guys some ideas for where to farm gold and how to make some gold, while leveling up, and spacing it out somewhat according to what level most people will be. I am assuming that most people will be level 10 on the first day, and probably level 20 on the second day, and then it will start getting some diminishing returns, since not everyone plays 24 hours a day. Also, if you want more gold making advice, or simply hardcore content in general, I will be streaming my entire hardcore journey live on Twitch and on Kick, and you can find the links to both of those in the video description. I will be live every single day, almost 24-7, so feel free to stop by and ask me any questions you have. So today we have how to make gold from level 10 1 to level 10 in Classic WoW Hardcore. This is arguably going to be the most boring level bracket for this type of video, but it's worth covering either way and it will give you an indication and an introduction to the video series. Since we are focusing on level 1 to level 10, you should not expect to make lots of gold in this level bracket, but there are certainly a lot of things that you can do in order to make more gold than most people. Let's take a look at mob grinding spots first. Grinding mobs can in many cases be either faster or just as fast as leveling, even from level 1 to level 10, especially in a launch environment, where many quest mobs will be highly competitive, in which case, sometimes it's actually better to just grind mobs in a location where there is less competition. So let's take a look at some time so let's take some time to look at some materials that are worth targeting while grinding mobs while leveling in this level bracket, including a couple of locations for where to farm them. I will try to include as many different locations as possible to give some alternatives to everyone regardless of race and faction. So first off we have small eggs. These are used for cooking and are arguably one of the cheapest and easiest ways for people to skill up cooking. Plus they can be used for the Winter Veil event coming in December, which is actually coming up pretty soon after the launch of these official hardcore servers. There are only a handful of locations where these eggs can be farmed under level 10, but there are multiple locations in the level 10 to level 20 bracket, which we will be covering tomorrow. Now other types of meat for cooking are also definitely worth looking out for. The exact type of meat here, here depends on your faction and race, like for example for alliance, humans and gnomes have easier access to boar meat than night elves has, just like orcs and trolls have easier access to boar meat than torrents and undead players. Torrents also has way easier access to strider meat from all the plain striders in Mulgore. Cooking will be a profession that a lot of players will opt to go for during their hardcore journey, and not everyone will take the time or effort to farm the materials that they need by themselves, so they will opt to buy it from other players, whether that is through trading or the ocean house, so cooking materials is a pretty safe way to secure yourself some early pocket change. You also have a very obvious one, linen cloth. Yeah, this is incredibly obvious, you can just find any humanoids really, and they can drop them. These linen cloth can either be sold directly, as people need them need linen cloth to make bandages for example, and first aid will be a profession pretty much everyone will have, or you can even use the linen cloth for tailoring, which we will cover in just a little bit. You also have light feathers. This one is more of a long term farming possibility, as they will be needed and used by mages for slow fall later down the line. So let's talk about professions with gold making potential in this level bracket. Obviously having herbalism and mining will benefit you greatly, but they both take time to skill up plus they will be very competitive. That being said, engineering and alchemy will most likely be the most popular professions on these hardcore servers as they directly increase your survivability and they need herbalism and mining materials respectively in order to skill up. Personally, I would not choose herbalism and mining on launch simply due to the competitiveness of the nodes in the open world, but if you are starting a week or two after the launch then it might be worth considering. Now picking up skinning will also offer you more raw gold from skinning beasts and vendoring the leather. 
Even though this is not really significant at lower levels and gets better and better as you move up in levels, but it could still be worth setting up. Level 1 to 10 is more about setting yourself up for the future and future success anyway. Another great way to make some extra pocket change in the early levels is crafting bags. Pick up tailoring and use the linen cloth that you just farmed and make some 6 slot bags and sell them just under the vendor price for bags. This way you capitalize on people who were unlucky and did not loot all of their bags while leveling while also providing those people with cheaper bags than they would have gotten by buying them from the vendor. It's literally a win-win where you make gold by helping other people save gold at the same time. Doesn't really get much better than that. Personally, I usually speed to level 1 to 10 as quickly as possible in order to make more gold later down the line, but that only really works for those of you aiming to hit a somewhat high level pretty quickly, so if you plan on taking a more relaxed leveling approach, you can actually use these methods to make some very decent pocket change during your early leveling adventure. And the later you start, the more gold materials from, for example, herbalism and mining will actually be worth. And that's pretty much what I have for you today. Once again, come check me out on stream, where I am most likely live right now streaming hardcore. And stay tuned for how to make gold from level 10 to level 20 tomorrow, which should be a lot more interesting. Until then, if you, if you really want a head start on how to make gold on these hardcore servers, I have also made a 134 pages long gold making guide, which you can find the link to in the video description. And by using the code SOLHEIM, you can get that guide for half price. This guide contains the very best gold farms both to do while leveling and at max level, plus some insane investments I have used in the past to make tens of thousands of gold in pure profit. For now though, leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again very soon.